I don't think there's anything more satisfying. Then again, I don't get out much. <laughs> Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. It's episode six of What's on the Bench Weekly. The weekly show where uh, I give you a little insight into things that are going on in this workshop, this humble workshop. Nothing like Santa's, there's no elves, but about the same number of toys. Uh, this week, uh, it's a little bit of a demo week. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to paint Lexan, uh, and you'll get a, you can get results as good as, well, or as interesting as this. I have not yet peeled off the film. It's exciting times. I love doing this. Uh, but what we're looking at here is a Lozy 22, whatever it is. Uh, the heck is this car called? called the drag car. What we're looking at here is the Lozy no prep drag car. Uh, this was originally the Ford F100 pickup truck uh, and I was going to give this away to uh, a lucky team EVGA slash SBG viewer. Uh, EVGA is going to be doing a giveaway very shortly for this car and I didn't want to give away just a car. I wanted to give a custom SBG Scale Builders Guild painted car. So here it is. This is it. This is the Proline Ford Mustang 1967 no prep drag car body. And I gotta say, it looks pretty darn good on this chassis. Uh, I've gone ahead and given it a very retro 90s themed inspired paint job. Uh, I saw a mountain bike actually, a Cannondale mountain bike of all things painted in a very similar scheme. So I said, I'm going to paint that bike. <laughs> I'm gonna make a car look like that bike. So that's what I did. Uh, so this is it right here. And I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. But you know what? Let's get this protective film off so we can see the actual body and get the rest of the decals on and then we'll do some magic where we, you know, lift it up. And there we have it. Pretty shiny. <laughs> I used a lot of uh, techniques in this one, and I'm gonna walk you through exactly how we got to this point. Uh, I'm pretty excited to share this actually, and um, it uh, it was definitely a fun process recording all of it as I did it. While this might look daunting, it's not really, well, I don't wanna say it's easy, but it's not exactly hard either. A little bit of pre-planning, a little bit of creativity is all you'll need to get something of this quality. And um, I'm gonna walk you through it from start to finish. So here we go. Uh, first things first, find yourself a body. Sort of key. Lexan is sort of important. I hate saying that out loud, <laughs> but Lexan is good. And uh, Lexan offers you a lot of really cool, creative opportunities that a hard body uh, just don't, not in an easy way anyway. So um, let's walk you through this. Um, the first step for me is uh, deciding on the scheme and getting all of the uh, decals cut. I use my Cricut and uh, I've got an excellent Cricut demo, which I will link to right up here. You can check that out uh, later on after you've watched this video maybe. Uh, and um, I build all of my graphics in Illustrator or Photoshop and then I pull them into the Cricut software. Very simple, very easy to use and uh, anybody can do it. You can create great looking graphics that will lead you to great looking results. Um, there are a lot of better painters and better decal guys than me. Hemistorm is one of them. I will put a link down to his channel down below. If you want to learn how to paint from a Lexan Master, Hemistorm is the guy to learn from. He cuts all of his own masks by hand. He doesn't use a Cricut. It's cheating. And uh, he does everything by hand. It's pretty incredible what he's able to accomplish. I am a humble amateur, but I do like showing off this uh, stuff and these techniques. So uh, once we've got all of our decals cut on the Cricut, we apply them to the inside of a very clean body. 
These bodies, when they come out of the vacuum mold machines, are filthy. They're covered in oil and release agent and all kinds of stuff. Just regular everyday dish soap is all you need. Uh, I use a very soft rag or a blue shop paper towel. They are lint free. Uh, so those will work better than a regular paper towel. Once your body is completely dry, then you can start applying your decals to the inside of the body. Once we've got all our masks cut and applied to the body, it's time to start thinking about the layering of paint and how we're gonna have to get things done in order to get the right things on the outside of the body. You have to think sort of backwards when you're doing a Lexan body because you're painting it primarily on the inside. Now, for the technique that I wanted here, the, the Team EVGA logo that I dreamt up here, uh, I wanted to do a drop shadow and you can see that it's a darker shade of pink on the exterior of the lettering all along one angle. Now, the best way to do that was with an airbrush and uh, it's a lot more complicated with rattle cans, so um, I wouldn't recommend it. If you've got an airbrush handy, if you've got a friend with one, go over to their house and buy them a case of water or something and let them think that you're there as a friend when really all you want is their airbrush. Using Proline paints, uh, the liquid stuff here in the squeeze bottles, I mixed up a dark pink and then I just sprayed a light coat around the edges of the mask, making sure that the mask was stuck down really, really well. Once I did that, it was time to move on to the other steps. That's including the next step being this cool splatter pattern. You can see that all over the body here. It's a white splatter and it goes throughout all the colors and all over the body. Uh, I just load up a brush again with the squeeze bottle Proline ready to spray paint and uh, I just load up a brush and just whack it. You just whack it real hard. You know, whip it at the body uh, in a very aggressive motion, the most aggressive paint job I've ever done. And you end up with this really cool splatter pattern. And then once you've got that splatter pattern done, it's time to move on to the main body colors that you're gonna be using. Again, you wanna to try to go darkest to lightest. In this case, it was a metallic black to uh, the chrome to all of the rest of the colors that you see on the body. So with all the masks in place, I just started spraying the colors. Uh, metallic black and I just did a sort of a fade here. It's not a hard line. Uh, I didn't have to mask anything else. I just did a nice steady spray in that angle to kind of kind of break up the black from the chrome. Once the black had cured, and again, you should be allowing a little bit of dry time with your paint. I was using Traxxas Pro Graphics and On Point Paint. They're the same manufacturer, same formulation, just a couple of different color varieties in the Canadian version versus the Traxxas paint. And it has a really fast drying time. I really like working with it. Uh, and it's not super noxious like I found the Tamiya paint to be. So it's kind of a nice change from what I'm used to. And it does offer some excellent results as you can see. Once the uh, black metallic was done, I went to the chrome, did a number of coats of chrome because it is a, a pretty um, light spraying paint. You do need to do like four or five coats of that paint. Uh, there is another uh, product, uh, sort of like a varnish that you can use to seal it if it's going to be the only color you're using. Uh, I ended up backing it with black just to really make it shine. I think it actually turned out really good. From there, moved on to the Panaphonic logo. Yes, I like comedy. And uh, Panaphonic was one of my favorite uh, gags from The Simpsons. Uh, see if you can name the rest of the off brands that they did in that specific gag. Put them down below. You know I love reading through your feedback and I try to answer as many of them as I can. And if you're enjoying this demo on What's on the Bench Weekly, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video featuring any kind of how-to from the Scale Builders Guild. All right, uh, after we got the Panaphonic logo done, also in black, because I backed the chrome with black, it was sort of a twofer there, we moved on to the Team EVGA main logo, hit that with a nice hot fluorescent pink. I think that turned out just amazing. I love the uh, drop shadow on there. I think it just really sets it off. Very 90s, very, very 90s. You may not have been born, but I was. Following the EVGA logo, we did the Losi and the Ford logo in that teal, 
not quite seafoam green, not quite blue, not definitely Kentucky sky, but a nice teal, very 90s inspired as well. And then finally, we moved on to the SVT, which is special vehicle team. This is a Ford thing. Uh, and then the Mickey Thompson logo as well, both in uh, nice canary yellow, or actually I think it's called Summit Yellow. That's a Traxxas color, Summit Yellow. And um, that's basically the end result of the inside painting. Oh, um, I also, because I like to punish myself, I also did the Scale Builders Guild logo. That's all paint. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm impressed with myself too. Uh, but cut the mask cutting cutting on that just made it very super easy uh, blue red uh, then the white and then I backed it with uh, all of the whole thing in white and then I just hit the black really quickly and uh, it seemed to keep it pretty 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 clean I'm actually pretty happy with how that turned out and then a few final steps on the outside you can Lexan paint a body on the outside. And what I do is I cut out the actual masking film or overspray film as it's called. And I get a couple of areas where I just sprayed some black uh, just on these uh, rear louvers here on the uh, window surround there and on the front uh, sort of, uh, I don't know, what would you call that? It's air splitter, I guess, uh, just to give it some texture and some depth. And um, that's it. Then you put some stickers on it and you're done. Man, it seems a lot easier, but this took all day. This took, actually it took multiple days. One day to design all the logos and graphics, uh, and then another half day before it started to rain, and then another full day to get it all done to this point. Um, but uh, as you can see, not a lot of really difficult things at play here. You could do this. You could very easily do this. And I want you to do this. That's the whole point of what's on the bench weekly. Whether I'm showing you a styrene technique or weathering techniques or painting techniques, these are all things that I want you to try and it's why I'm sharing them with you. And you know, be as passionate about it as I am. I love doing this stuff. And more than anything, I love giving stuff like this away. So this whole car, the whole low, the whole Losi no prep drag car, brand new right out of the box, and this kick-ass custom painted body will be given away as part of the EVGA giveaway. So keep your eyes peeled for that. That's going to be coming very soon. I'll be sure to put it out there uh, on all the social medias so you can see uh, the results and enter this contest and maybe win this drag car. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, my thanks to EVGA for always helping me out with all the hardware that I have for all of this live streaming. Wouldn't be possible without them. I hope that painting demo helps you. And I hope that uh, some of those techniques that I've shown you, you're not scared by, and it's something that you'll give a shot. So um, if you do, be sure to tag me on Instagram, at Scale Builders Guild, and I'll throw you a like on any painting, preferably on hard bodies. I did make some progress on the Earth Roamer, not as much as I would like. It's a big box and there's a lot of stuff that has to happen. Lots of sanding happened, which isn't a very exciting thing to look at. Uh, the garage door, I've printed all the proper pieces, so that's all together, as you can see. That's working quite well. Uh, I think I need to print one or two more panels, um, but then we're calling that sort of finished. There will be a panel that hides this whole thing here so you don't see how they're rolling up it's just a function of the design that i did it's not the best garage door in the whole world but it's functional enough uh, there is some sanding like i said uh, some filling has occurred as well um, solar panels are still on order they're not here yet but it's stuff things are happening don't worry about it it's gonna be done Two more weeks tops. I can't believe I just said that out loud. Hey, look, you might remember this truck from such episodes as every single one so far, I think. Uh, this is the GCM Racing uh, RC four wheel drive blazer body with the Mod 19 cab and uh, bed conversion to make it into a long wheelbase CUCV. Cuck V, there's so much left to do, but a big piece showed up today. The new scale motor from Scale design by Mr. Comma D. These are so 
good. These are so well done. Uh, 3D printed, uh, but it is a motor cover. So you put your regular everyday brushed motor over that, and then you've got a fully detailed engine bay. I also, uh, along with the motor, I also picked up all the other little bits and pieces that you need to kind of really flesh out this whole thing. Uh, whatever this is, battery, some sort of um, cylinder for things. And I also dug through my collection of weird old stuff I never thought I'd need again and found myself an old GM or Chevrolet gas tank. And this was vacuum formed by Pardon My Noob, also known as Turks and Jerps. And that'll, you know, go under there somewhere. Um, so we're collecting bits and pieces as we go here. I'm really excited about this motor. I'll be sure to put links down below to all of the things I've used today or purchased. Uh, so you can uh, so you can check them out and maybe get one for yourself. Okay, that's the episode for this week. Um, we'll be doing more stuff next week. That's what this show is all about. If you've got ideas for things you want to see on What's on the Bench Weekly, hit me up on the social medias, Instagram, YouTube, face blog wherever you consume your media i'm there except twitter that's gonna do it though thank you so much for watching we'll see you again next week